Come Holy Spirit, come fill my heart, refresh my soul. This is your season of grace come with your host, Spirit, Patrick Henry Edith. Get ready for Grace Revolution. Matthew chapter 19 from verse 1. When Jesus had finished saying these things, he left Galilee and went into the region of Judea to the other side of the Jordan. Large crowds followed him and he healed them and is still healing you there. Yeah. Some Pharisees came to him to test him. They asked, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any and every reason? Haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning the Creator made them male and female? And said, for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So, they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Why then, they, they asked, did Moses command that a man give his wife a certificate of divorce and send her away? Jesus replied, Moses permitted you to divorce your wives, Moses, not God, not grace, not mercy. Moses is law. Moses is law. The law permitted. When you break the law, the law permits. Scripture says the one who digs the pit may fall in it. That's the law. And the one who breaks the edge, the hedge, will be, will be beaten by the serpent. So the law the law permitted you the law permitted you because your heart was hard you disobeyed you broke the law you were hardened you were rebellious and because of your rebellion there was permission so see the Mo see moses here as law jesus replied moses permitted you to divorce your wives because your hearts were hard law the law may have permitted death the law may have permitted there are many people who are in the who are in condemned cells condemned prisoner cells in the prison condemned by law but god has a plan the plan is that in the beginning they were not supposed to die but they did something the hardness of heart something happened so permission had been given and and god has something has power to come even after permission had been given for destruction god is above law god is god is both the law giver and the law changer can change a situation to suit what he wants he can suspend a law you know the woman a woman was caught in a place of adultery very act of adultery the law said this woman be killed but the lawgiver who is also the changer of circumstances he said let the one who is perfect be the first person to strike to raise the first stone and none of them so the law was suspended if you understand me let me see your hand let me say it again a woman was caught in the act of adultery the law had permitted moses had permitted that such a woman be killed that was the law now the one who had the power over the law the lawgiver and only the lawgiver can change the law by the way no one else can change the law tonight a law will be changed to save somebody and the operation of law shall be suspended to save somebody and so the woman who was supposed to die because the law had permitted death was set free and just said go i have not condemned you either i am the one who has the right to condemn you so it's an amazing thing to meet jesus so jesus Christ said moses permitted you to divorce your wives because your hearts were hard but it was not this way from the beginning oh from the beginning and we have been looking at 
how it was in the beginning we have seen prosperity we have seen rest we have seen dominion we have seen industry we have seen companionship we have seen innocence we have seen security we have seen the garden you have a space you have been given stewardship over something you are loved appreciated cherished by god made in the image of god you are a god actually you are a god you know we came to a point that we have to dispute with the devil the devil is a liar he told if if you eat your eyes will be open and you will be like god he says it's a lie god already made them as gods they were not to be like god they were already gods because they were the representative figure of the heavenly god they were to represent him and have dominion in his behalf on the over the earth they were given dominion to rule and govern things so they were gods even unto the serpents so you are a god unto even lucifer on earth here you are a god if you don't permit the devil he has no power over you the power of the devil is to scare you create fear in you that's number one another power of the devil is to seduce you so the devil has the power of intimidation and the power of persuasion two powers the power of set, persuasion seduction seduction means it makes poison appear to be honey it seduces you if was seduced was not intimidated so there are two ways by which the evil one by which satan takes over people's lives seduction seduces you so that what will destroy you becomes attractive to you and you take it and eat and die and if you resist that there is another form intimidation a lot of people join cult is by intimidation it can intimidate you in business until you also join cult in order to resist intimidation a lot of time it can raise up an army of intimidation intimidating you intimidating you until you also look for something to protect yourself then you have got you have been you have been conquered so if you resist seduction intimidation may come as the alternative so at all points you must watch for these two ways the devil comes through these two ways seduction and intimidation and if you resist these two you are a god unto the devil he has no power over you luke 10 19 says i've given you authority to trample upon snakes and scorpion and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing shall harm you nothing 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 tell somebody nothing 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 no lucifer no devil no satan no witch no wizard no no power no spell no incantation no en no enchantment no spell no sorcery nothing nothing tell somebody nothing N nothing nothing god that's the word of god nothing shall harm you so there is no issue of fear so when the devil told if you shall be like god it was a lie nothing you already made a god just guys i love just guys when he was talking to the jews he said he said of those to whom the word of god has been given that ye are gods referring to the word of the son ye are gods even the son of god acknowledge that those who have the word of god they are gods so that's the original you you are a god and he said it was not so in the beginning so the issue of slavery the issue of sin the issue of weakness the issue of low sperm counts the issue of diabetes the issue of failure of struggling the issue of divorce the issue of um, delay the issue of all those stuff they are not they were not so in the beginning because your hardness of heart moses permitted you the first permission for evil was what when eve was seduced and he she ate and when she ate her eyes were before then she gave to the husband and the husband did what ate the man ate and the sin was completed and their eyes were open and they saw what they were naked from that moment of being naked naked means they no longer wore garments so if permitted destruction adam agreed so those 
our first parents, Adam, permitted everything wrong that we now see. So when Jesus Christ said it was not so in the beginning, you were permitted to die, you were permitted to suffer, you were permitted to fail, you were permitted to be sick, you were permitted to be poor because of the hardness of heart which means there was a rebellion of the heart something went wrong with the heart the moment eve accepted to test to to fall into the seductive hand of the devil the heart became rebellious and because the heart became rebellious there was permission for destruction genesis chapter 3 their eyes were open and they saw that they were naked being naked means there was no protection they lost divine protection they lost divine coverage they lost divine immunity immunity is first of all a spiritual fact if you have high level of spiritual immunity your physical immunity will rise a lot of people fall into sin once you fall into sin once you go wrong you do something wrong your immunity drops because your spiritual coverage goes down and anything can strike you you become vulnerable there is a strong connection between sin and physical health i'm not saying everybody who is sick now is because the person has sinned that's not what i said but i said there is a strong bond strong connection between spiritual immunity and physical immunity in genesis chapter 2 the scripture say both of them the man and the woman they were naked but they were not what they were not ashamed come on they were not ashamed it means though they were naked physically but spiritually they were clothed the presence of god was the garment the, the shekinah why because god made them as gods god shared with them his glory god shared with them what his glory god made them in his image and likeness not for them to fend for themselves with their strength god also deposited on them a measure of his glory so god gave them his his image make them his image and make them glorious if you look at psalm 8 that's what the scripture talks now psalm 8 says "O lord our lord how majestic is your name in all the earth you have set your glory above the heavens from the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies verse 3 when i consider your heavens the work of your hands the moon and the stars which you have set in place what is man that you are mindful of him the son of man that you care for him you made him a little less that a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with what that's how god made it he crowned man on earth with glory and honor so when i say god made man a god unto creation because he imparted he covered man with kavod the word hebrew the hebrew word for glory is kavod you can say kavod the word b and v in hebrew so b can be pronounced as v kavod okay now this kavod is weight when you have glory you are weighty you are heavy that's what glory does the opposite of glory is emptiness a king is weighty a king is heavy a poor person is empty light a wind of poverty can blow him and he crushes his head somewhere but the king that is wealthy strong hurricane katrina will come the king stands because he's heavy is weighty so kavod is heaviness weightiness why is it heavy because it contains many things health wealth protection security assurance insurance consurance insurance money insurance health insurance children insurance husband insurance job insurance business insurance heavy that's glory options the day that health issue comes health insurance the day that money issue money insurance prosti, prosperity insurance and all around that, that is the king a king has option king has option heavy so can vote so god crowned man in the beginning with glory and honor honor is another heavy word praise god that's what man had until the the coverage was lifted the cavote 
the kavod, the kavod was lifted. A son was born for one of the sons of um, of Eli. They called him Ikabot. Ikabot, the, the glory has gone. The glory has gone truly. I don't know what that child became. The glory has, has gone. Emptiness has come. The glory has gone. Emptiness has come. So when somebody lives in error, when somebody lives in, in rebellion against the word of God, when somebody lives in sin, no matter what title you have, no matter what position you have in the things of God and in the church, you are empty, you are light. You can easily be manipulated. Anything can blow you away. Anything can crush you. Anything can destroy you. Your immunity is gone. Your, pro- your, your security is gone. But as long as you are in God and God is in you, let me tell you, you walk, that's why you, the scripture, you can trample upon sins and scorpion. Why? Because you are cavoded. Tell somebody, cavoded. You are cavoded. means you are, you are wrapped, enveloped in glory. And you have security. So the permission, the first permission for everything that is negative, that just Christ, you know, used divorce to refer to, because divorce was not just for divorce alone. Everything that breaks human heart, everything that hurts, everything that brings shame, everything that brings disgrace, everything that brings tears, everything that brings, you know, whatever it is, that is not as it was in the beginning. That's what divorce stands for in this um, Matthew chapter 19. Just because it was not so in the beginning. You, this, this came to pass because of permission. So, Eve and Adam, they permitted. The glory left. Sickness invaded. Immunity dropped. Divinity was lifted. The divine, the God in man left man. And what was left? From that moment, man became a slave to demons. Things that should serve man. Man began to, began to serve lion. Lift up your hands and say, Hallelujah. Let's look at after the Eve and Adam had permitted destruction and destruction came. The high point of the destruction is that Adam and Eve they were expelled from the garden, driven from their domain. Imagine a king who is expelled from his throne. Expelled from his throne. That's the worst thing that can happen. When David was chased away by Absalom, the son, David saw the bottom, the, the, the rock bottom of his life. And he was crying. The scripture says in the in the valley of Kidron, Kidron Valley, David was crying as he was going. And there was this Shimei who came, you know, insulting him. He said, Look at the king, you, you murderer, you killed the house of Saul, and now your, your turn has come. And one of his commanders said, Can I go take off the head from his from his shoulder, from his neck? He said, No, let him curse. Let him curse. If my son can do this to me, and God permits it, so is that that I leave him? Let him mock, let him curse, but at least let God use that to save me. The, the king knew that if you are expelled from your throne, you have no dignity. So don't go and fight with one poor man there. Fight with the, with the one who can restore you. Am I talking to somebody? Because the worst thing has happened to you, you have left your domain, you have left your domain, you have left your place of glory, your place of strength. A king is strong in his palace. So that's your place of security. Every man, every woman God has created, you were made a God and a king. And your garden is your zone of security, your place of protection. And that is the presence of God. The only place where you are protected is the presence of God. You may be in the wilderness, but as long as you are in the presence of God, you, you are not shaken. No shaking. Wilderness is just a matter of time. That's what David said. You know, do not cast me away from your presence. David knew that when he killed bears and lions, they were not his strength. They didn't die. Those things didn't die because of his strength. The presence of God kept him. He said, don't cast me from your presence. And don't take your spirit away from me. That's it. Because the presence of God is the garden. When you walk in the presence, in the presence of God, you may walk, you may be in a place that nothing is working there, but don't worry. As long as God is with you, your case is different. And he said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear what? No evil, for thou art with me. That is the presence. And that's what Adam and Eve were driven away from. 
David coveted the presence. The presence has a way of generating everything. When you are in the presence, you cannot lack. When you are in the presence, you cannot be despised. Whoever despises you and you are in the presence, he has made a mistake. It is true. That means in the presence, the enemies honor you. The presence gives you the greatest advantage. Oh, praise God. So let's look at the first gospel. Genesis chapter 3 verses 14 and 15. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, curse are you above all livestock and all wild animal. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head. The offspring. New King James Version perhaps may talk about the seed. Let's look at it. Yes. And I will put enmity between you and the woman. And, the, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head. And you shall bruise his heel. Look at what the devil is permitted to do to the seed of the woman. Is the heel. Like a little wound. But what the word has permitted the seed of God the seed of the woman the seed of the woman be careful notice the seed of the woman the permission is that the seed of the woman will do what will crush the head Jesus is a seed of the woman no biblical scholarship will take this away Jesus is truly the seed of the woman Jesus had no connection with the seed of man every pregnancy is a combination of the seed of man and the seed of the woman is it not true that's what makes a human being human but jesus christ was born of the seed of woman at the human level only woman joseph was an observer joseph was only given the information he made no contribution except to carry him around mary was the vessel the woman and the father the holy spirit was the divine seed that made jesus in the flesh this program is sponsored by the covenant friends and partners of grace family global outreach you can be part of this grace revolution by becoming a covenant partner today allow god to use you our account details are as follows bank zenith bank account name grace family global outreach account number 101-42-978-63 for inquiries please call 081-804-33 225 or 090 To all our covenant partners and friends, we say thank you. Like the widow of Zarephath, your oil will never run dry. To order for the books, messages, and other resource materials, please call or send an SMS to 080-660-46346 or 081-804-33225 Videos are also available on YouTube at www.youtube.com forward slash Grace Family Outreach To stay connected, like us on Facebook at Grace Family Outreach or visit our website at www.youtube.com Grace Commission.org